We are currently with our U.S. government uh, partners, uh, program manager UAS, um, involved in qualifying the latest um, upgrade of Shadow. It's called the Shadow Block 3. It brings a whole new level of capability to the Shadow, addressing some of the concerns of the past, things like um, engine, engine decibel level, engine power, so the engine is a, is a rotary engine, it's a new water-cooled engine, has 49 horsepower, so it improves our power margin on the system, increases it by 10 horsepower, allowing the shadow not just to have additional margin, but allows the shadow to climb out faster, lower decibel uh, level on the engine as well. Uh, the shadow has integrated a new electro-optic infrared high-definition uh, day-night camera. It's a Westcam MX-10, so um, Textron Systems has helped the program uh, integrate that um, payload into the, the shadow and brings kind of uh, unprecedented levels of uh, high-definition uh, imagery to, to the shadow. Are you able to update the existing shadows already operating with the U.S. Army? Yes, right now we're qualifying that system out at Dugway, Utah. FUE, or first unit equipped, will happen next year. So there'll be additional U.S. government testing called follow-on test and evaluation of that kit, the upgrade to Shadow, that'll take place early next year. So we are already under contract with our programs to integrate and buy Block 3 kits and integrate those into existing Shadows. And the, the future program that the U.S. Army are looking at? The future tactical unmanned aircraft system is, is uh, while I say and, the, and, the, and I believe the Army's plan is to continue uh, supporting and sustaining shadow through a transitional period. So I'm seeing shadow in the Army for, formations for at least another decade. Meanwhile, they're looking to the future. They're looking to how they can outfit their brigade combat team formations with, a, with an improved, let's say, a system that is more expeditionary, which is more deployable. Um, we recently competed for, uh, conducted demonstrations, and won the first phase of what the Army's calling the Future Tactical Unmanned Aircraft System with our Aerosond hybrid quad version. Really what that brings is a whole new level of tactical deployment capability into the brigade combat team. We're able to fit an entire system on a 463L pallet inside a CH-47 uh, helicopter and come off of a CH-47 and launch our first system within 18 minutes. So a whole new level of expeditionary uh, support that will be provided to those brigade combat teams, as well as no uh, launch and recovery system, very easily operated and, uh, and very easily deployed. And the future program, what, what's the program? The future on? program is called Future Tactical Unmanned Aircraft System. It's in its definition phase now. What the Army intends to do is take our Aerosond hybrid quad and they're going to field the system to a brigade combat team. We will train their operators and their, their, and their maintainers to operate the system, and they'll, they'll, they'll conduct exercises and understand the concept of operations and the tactics, techniques, and procedures that they'll be able to develop from using that system, and then they'll come back in to an acquisition phase program after they've completed that phase.